And um, I saw it first in, uh, in the IMAX. So you're sitting right there, it's huge. And I just shouted when I saw that. It happens right away. I'm going to show the clip twice, but there's two events that happen right away. That's one. Which is not a good thing to happen to your body, and he would not be getting up like this. Remember, he's still, maybe there's no break in his suit, but inside there's still a brain in that head. There's still bones in that body. Here's another thing that happens here. So. human being can do one time. You can't keep doing those. You accumulate too much trauma. You would have had serious trauma from that drop for sure. Even things that has now very become very much uh, in the popular press on this idea of concussion and football and hockey and so on. Concussion is a big issue for, for Batman and this idea of the metabolic consequences of concussion where it's well known that you know you can't have another concussive event within a few days of the first event. But, you know, typically, Batman should not be having another concussive event out here for at least a week, but of course he does all the time. So he'd have some significant repetitive trauma uh, that would lead to some degeneration in his brain. Also, this idea of what kind of injuries we get. We can have a repetition where we can do many, many things at a low level of load, or we can get an injury, like eventually have an injury, or we can have a very high load in one repetition. Batman's mixing them up all the time together. Single event like jumping on the van could give him an injury, or this could be the many training events for fighting for 18 years that give him uh, an end to his career. We also have the issue that as Batman gets older, his physiology begins to change, his nerve conduction goes down, his cardiovascular performance goes down, his ability to do max performance drops down. Even if Batman survived long enough to get to age 50, uh, I would tell him he should forcefully retire himself at age 55 to not push it too much. But he'd never really get there based on all the things I've just mentioned to you. He becomes older. He's sometimes shown even in the comics this way. Um, he talks about pain that's three days old, crawls across my back. I kick the dust from my joints and climb. It used to be easier. So here's Batman coming out of retirement to save Gotham again. So, can anybody become Batman? It's a combination of many things. Genetics, training, desire, which was another part of that will to act clip where it had to be that you can want to be lots of things, but you have to be prepared to actually do what's needed to achieve that thing, to actually achieve it. And this is part of the, whether you want to be Batman or not is not the issue, it's whether you want to be whatever it is. It takes time and desire. So very unlikely, but it is possible for a man or a woman, becoming Batman is not for the faint of heart, however, and there's this great quote from a couple years ago in, uh, from the comics, whatever happened to the Cape Crusader in Detective Comics. This is Batman reflecting on his life. The end of the story of Batman is he's dead, because in the end the Batman dies. What else am I going to do? Retire and play golf? It doesn't work that way. It can't. I fight until I drop, and one day I will drop, but until then I fight. So the main message though here about who still wants to be Batman, who still wants to be Batman? We did the poll earlier. Okay. That's okay. Usually the numbers do drop off a little bit, though I gotta admit. Although strangely not with little children, which is a bit disturbing. We talk a lot about, are you sure you understood what I was, I did with a slightly different presentation, but are you sure you got the point there? Uh, who still wants to be Batman? The real point of this, of course, is to illustrate for us by thinking outside the box a little bit about our own potential, because all this is just a touchstone for how our own bodies work. And the idea that, I like to say that each of us has a little bit of Batman inside of us, and it's up to us to figure out what that bit is and how to put it to our own use and use it in our own lives to do whatever we're trying to do in this year. So, the last thing I want to finish with is a couple of Bat trivia pieces. Does anybody here know a lot about Batman? Okay, let's find out. So we got two questions here, let's see how we do. Can anybody tell me what was the color of the original, the original, which means the very first time it was ever shown in the comics? Batmobile, yes? Blue? Purple? Purple? White? White, yellow, yellow, indigo, indigo. 
Green. Red. It was red. Oh. Here he is in his Skookum Red Batmobile. Next question. So, can you remember also you a uh, water bottle here? Next one. What was the first bat cave? So Batman didn't, he had very modest beginnings, I'll hint. He didn't have a big bat cave initially. Can anybody tell me what the first bat cave was? Like what did he really use as a bat cave? Yes? Apartment. Pardon me? Apartment. His apartment? Yeah, there's something in particular in the apartment. That's pretty close. Closet. Closet. You know what, that's close enough because people usually take a long time to get there. He had like this little tickle truck thing that was in his living room or whatever. <laughs> where he stored all the bat stuff. And in fact, here's the whole panel showing him, aha, I better rush off now. There he is at the Wayne Manor, pulling on his thing in this little tickle trunk or whatever it is, jumping in his suit into his red car, which is really subtle, you gotta admit, racing across town to save the day. So, uh, Batman's come a long way since, since then, and usually uh, we don't think of all those additional things that Batman's had. I hope that what I've been able to achieve with you is to think a little bit about how your body works in the context of how Batman's body could work. And to realize that there's tremendous possibility for a range of abilities, and we can all get better at whatever we do, whether we choose to become Batman, Batgirl, or Batwoman. That's up to us. Okay? Thank you for your time.